I got here through a referral, Mike Fitzpatrick. Um, he's a wonderful man. What happened was is I've been on pain medication for about 10 years. I was switched to oxycodone. My dad had just recently passed away in October. At that point, everything just really spun out of control. I was doing a lot of pain medication, not orally, and um, it got to the point where I was physically getting sick. And I knew at that point, I absolutely needed to get help. Um, I knew I had a problem for months. If it wasn't for the support of my husband and my family, I would not have made the decision to come here, but I'm so glad that I did, because I am a completely different person at that point. Um, when I got here, it was pretty nerve-wracking. The anxiety the few days before was extreme. It took a little while to get used to the new environment, um, but it got to the point where I knew that I had to face what what was deep inside that was really holding me back. Um, so that's what got me here, and I'm so glad that I did. Amazing. Um, this place has completely changed my life. I had about two weeks, I had to have that adjustment to the new environment. The girls were amazing. Uh, staff, house managers, therapist, case manager, they really know they really know their job and they really do a wonderful thing. I know for myself that if you're patient with the the program here and you go full force and you come in with a positive attitude and you know what you want, you will absolutely get what you need out of this program. It completely changed me inside and out. The best support that you get here are your peers. The girls here are amazing. I was really nervous coming into an all women's program. I never really connected with women, so that was pretty nerve wracking. But knowing that these ladies are all here for the same reason, they are your ultimate support system and they are really amazing women. I would not have wound up staying here if it wasn't for them and um, the house managers actually sit with you and talk with you and give you the best advice. So they're really wonderful at their job. The best advice that I can give is just face your issues head on. Um, that is the only way that you're going to be able to heal inside and out. It's Recovery isn't easy. It's the most hardest thing you'll probably have to go through, but like I said, if you go in with a positive mind and you know what you want, you will absolutely be able to heal from that. Um, there's a ton of support here. Uh, just be patient and push yourself. Push yourself a little bit. Face your fears and just go in two feet first. It's it's hard. It's a hard adjustment at first, but in order to heal, you need to feel uncomfortable. You need to feel that vulnerability in order to to get past whatever you're coming in here for, whether it's mental health or dual diagnosis. I'm here for dual diagnosis and Sovereign has absolutely changed who I am, the way I think. I'm a different person. I never imagined that I would get myself back. Uh, my husband has his wife back and my kids have their mom back and that I cannot thank enough to Sovereign. Um, truly grateful because I never thought that I would be able to get here and you cannot do it on your own. Thinking that you can do it on your own, obviously what wound me up here was thinking that I could do it on my own but I obviously I couldn't. So having the support and just reaching out and asking for help and going, going through the recovery with a positive attitude is the best thing you can have.